हेलो किड्स माई नेम इज़ मोनिका कुक्कल एंड आई एम योर ई वी एस टीचर होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम स्टूडेंट्स ना विल टेक आर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर फोर्स वर्क एनर्जी दिस इज चैप्टर फाइव फोर्स वर्क एंड एनर्जी यू माइट हैव प्लेड द गेम ऑफ फुटबॉल विद योर फ्रेंड्स राइट वट डज अ गोल कीपर डू टू स्टॉप द बॉल वट डज अ प्लेयर डू टू मूव द बॉल फॉरवर्ड और पास द बॉल स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल हैव माइट प्लेड द गेम ऑफ टग ऑफ वॉर वट डू वी डू टू विन वी पुल द अदर टीम प्लेयर्स टू विन द गेम स्टूडेंट्स थिंग्स डू नॉट मूव ऑन देयर ओन थिंग्स ओनली मूव वेन वी पुश और पुल दैम राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ ग्लो अ गोल कीपर अप्लाइज अ पुश टू स्टॉप अ मूविंग बॉल राइट अ प्लेयर अप्लाइज अ पुश टू मूव द बॉल फॉरवर्ड और टू पास द बॉल team pulls the rope to win in the game of tug of war right and to draw water from the well we pull the bucket to fetch the water students in order to move an object it is pulled or pushed right force is a push or pull acting in an object now we'll discuss about things we can do with force what force can do it can move an object a book lying on a table will not move until any push or pull is applied a ball at rest a, a car at rest only moves when force is applied right it can stop a moving object a goalkeeper stops a moving ball to prevent a goal a fielder stops a cricket ball to prevent a boundary right it changes the speed of a moving object what happens when we kick a rolling ball its speed increases right while playing cricket we hit the ball bowled by the bowler thus changing its speed and direction too force can change the direction of any moving object when what happens when we obstruct the path of a crazy ball it bounces back right and starts moving in different direction students a force can change the shape of this object also we often see our mothers rolling out dough to make chapatis by changing its shape we play with clay to make different shapes thus changing its shape we apply force to take out paste from a tube right so force can also change the shape on of of an object students now we'll discuss about different types of forces the first one is muscular force the force applied by the muscles of human beings and animals to carry out physical activities is called muscular force students in our daily life we use muscular forces right like carrying water but buckets writing in the notebooks squeezing a lemon lifting heavy weights and many more things animals also make use of muscular forces to do physical activities like a cart a elephant uses a muscular force to carry a logs bulls make use of muscular forces to pull a cart okay so these are called muscular forces gravitational force it is also commonly known as gravity yes it is very interesting students the pull of the earth on an object towards its surface is called earth's gravity you should try throwing a ball up in the air it comes down to the ground in a few seconds this action is caused by the gravitational pull of the earth we are able to walk or run because of gravitational force present on the earth due to the absence of gravity in the space the astronauts float in the air students gravitational force is very interesting to understand it is actually the pull of the earth on a, on the object towards its surface now magnetic force What would you do if you lost a key in a haystack? What would you try to find the key by separating the haystack? It would be time consuming, right? Instead, we can use a magnet to find the key from the haystack. The magnet will attract the key, thus we will find the key. The force applied by the magnet on an object made of an iron is called magnetic force. Action Friction is the force that opposes the motion of an object. Students, have you noticed that when you push 
a ball it stops rolling by itself because of the force of friction between the ball and the ground frictional force slows down the moving object we are able to walk because of frictional force we don't slip because of the friction between our shoes and the floor the amount of friction depends on the depends on the type of surface there is less friction on a smooth surface as compared to the rough surface okay students so friction is the force that opposes the motion of an object work when we apply force to move an object it is said that work is being performed when we pull a chair to sit it is said that work is being performed but when we try to push or a pull a heavy object like a bed or a big cupboard and we are not successful in doing so it is said that no work is being performed work refers to an activity that involves movement of the object when force is applied on it if a force is force is applied on an object but no motion no movement takes place then no work is done right students now we'll take energy energy every day you hear your parents telling you to eat properly because you need energy to do work the food that we eat provides us energy to do work energy is the ability to do work energy is present in sunlight wind water everything we use energy every day for each task performed right we'll discuss about different forms of energy first of all electrical energy electrical energy is energy that is caused by moving electric charges right students it is caused by the moving electric charges it moves through wires in our everyday life we use electrical energy to run fans washing machine tube lights etc right so this is electrical energy where the electrical charges move heat energy we use heat energy for a lot of things like cooking food to warm our, our rooms in winter right most of the heat energy comes from coal petrol kerosene and the sun right wind energy wind energy is used to produce electricity through windmills right it is also used for grinding of wheat do you know that that windmills are used for grinding of wheat it is a renewable source of energy students do you know netherland is known as the country of windmills they have so many windmills that it is called the country of windmills solar energy it is the most abundant source of energy available on available on land it does not belong to anybody right therefore it is free it is also the most important non conventional source of energy because it is non polluting when we hang out our clothes to dry in the sun we use the energy of sun right in the same way solar panels absorb the energy of the sun to provide heat for cooking and for heating water so the most abundant source of energy which is available on available on land is solar energy next is hydro energy hydro power is derived from the energy of falling water understand this falling water or fast running water which is produce which is used to produce electricity right hydro power is actually the energy which is derived from falling water or fast running water thermal energy the energy produced by coal to generate electricity is called thermal energy we have many thermal power plants right we use energy to run our vehicles also we use petrol to run our cars diesels to run the buses right so the coal is used as a, uh, to generate electricity and this is called thermal energy okay students thank you for watching this video